Hey, what's going on? Big Mikey here. Uh, I'm going to give you um, the my thoughts on the Rockstar Mayhem tour that I went to uh, this past week, this past Sunday. Uh, it was a killer show at Darien Lake Amphitheater, uh, Darien Lake or Darien Center, New York, whichever you want to do. It's it's no big deal. It's out in the middle of nowhere. Big, you know, big amusement park. Uh, last went last year, and it wasn't. It wasn't as big. I mean, it, they had uh, five or six, maybe five bands total. Everybody played a lot longer. Um, this year, Rockstar went all out, brought all the bands, brought stages, the whole nine yards. It, it was a killer event. And uh, got this cool Mayhem Festival uh, pamphlet to help me out because, you know, getting old, the memory's not all there. But, uh... Definitely want to go over some of the, you know, some of the bands, if not all of them, that were there, and give you what I think of these bands. Now, most of you know, and if you don't know, I'm a metalhead at heart. I listen to a lot of other things and, you know, enjoy other music, but metal is the primary. So going to a show like this is really cool, and it's kind of like um, mine and my bosses. Uh, getaway for the summer. We we went last year together. It was really cool. We had a good time. We had a good time this time. Minus the heat and sunburn. Yeah, I got a really, really bad uh, sunburn on this shoulder. Actually, all the way across, but now this shoulder got it the worst. Anyways, to get on this list, we're going to have to get started. Uh, the first band we saw was Thrown Into Exile. Now, if you've never heard of this band... You definitely want to get out there and check them out. Hardcore. Um, and, and it's kind of funny in a slight way that the lead singer resembles Rob Zombie from a distance. It's not him. But it kind he kind of does. And their sound is really killer. Uh, these guys really hyped up the show. It's a great way to get it started. Um, also got to check out a band, uh, from Phoenix on one of the smaller stages. Uh, it, it was, um, trying to think of the name. It was like a real little, little recording studio stage, which was really cool. And then, so they can get some exposure. Um, the name of the band is City in the Sea. These guys are going to do well. And that they sound great. Lyric-wise, things fade no other band I can kind of mix these guys up with. They have a unique sound, which is hard to do nowadays since metal has pretty much been going for many, many years. Um, the next band, Scorpion Child, okay. Not bad, not good, okay. Uh, I wasn't impressed uh, stage presence-wise. I think when they were playing and I was just like, yeah, I can deal with it or whatever, I decided to go look at all the booths during that time. Attica 7, killer, killer sound. Um, if you like it hard and heavy, this band is definitely for you. Uh, they also have a very unique sound. That was the thing about this year. I, I, there had to be... Somebody, you know, sitting back saying, I want bands that don't sound alike, that don't act alike. I mean, you know, everybody had a little bit of their own whatevers, you know, to bring to the table. Um, the next band, and this is my own personal opinion, Huntress. If you look in the catalog that I got here, and I'm going to quote this just just for you guys because, you know, I, I I said this in my little rant video that I do every once in a while, but to be honest with you, when they put it in here, it was just like, you're, you're joking, right? Um, Huntress is a uh, female lead, lead singer, you know, to a band, and... How do I put it? A lot of you probably aren't even old enough to remember or even you might even have to Google the, the band King Diamond. 
Well, it says here, and I quote, sounds like King Diamond and Holy Grail. Um, she does. I gotta give her a lot of credit. Uh, she sounds like, uh, you know, she's taken that King Diamond road. But, honey, you're not King Diamond. You're not. And I think you tried too hard on stage. Uh, your, your sound was okay, but I just could not, for the life of me, get into your 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 style, your playing, you know, and everything. So, yeah, I definitely didn't get a plus in my book. Now, the band Battlecross, very good band. They have a uh, very hard Testament-like sound, and I really got into them. That was definitely worth, you know, hanging around watching their show. The next band I, I really wanted my boss to see because... I got a lot to say about this band, so I'm, and I'm trying to keep it brief on everybody, so I'm just going to do it this way. Two chicks singing, one a high-pitched screamer, one a deep growler, and it blends perfectly. They had the crowd going nuts, throwing up the biggest pit I've seen for a smaller band that, you know, in a long time. And the energy just flowing, 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 flowing off of them. I, I, honestly, guys, you, if you've never heard of Butcher Babies, get out there and check them out. Definitely worth, you know, the, the look into. Um, the next band that sounded really good, and, and they were next on the list, was Born of Osiris. Um, and for all you geeks out there, um, Egyptian God... Okay. Anyways, um, they have. I see now some of the bands that they you know show in the book here that they sound like I've never even heard of those bands. Uh, but they have a really hard sound. Um, they bring it right from the beginning. I mean, they, they didn't even you know. Say, I mean, they just came in and started playing and. When a band can come in and start playing and get you pumped up, there's something going on there. And it, and honestly, I, I see something big in their future. Uh, the next band, really cool. Even though, you know, I'm not the whole... Uh, how do I say? The old, the old Marilyn Manson paint in the face and all that stuff like that. Motionless and white. Freaking killer group really brought, you know, they took my attention, I had to check them out, just missed getting all their autographs, because they had a little signing session afterwards, but, you know, hey, no big deal, and that, um, to be completely honest with you, yeah, they had, a, like, a Marilyn Manson feel to it, but their sound was their own, so it's not like they took something from somebody, they kind of thought their look is a little bit Manson-ish, but, is that even a word, Manson-ish? We'll have to use that from now on. But, um, yeah, definitely cool. Definitely want to check that out. Uh, the next band on the list, Job for a Cowboy. Very cool. Um, if you know the band Morbid Angel, I'd say, yeah, these guys are definitely on the, on the same sound wavelength as them. Really hard. Really cool. Total energy. These guys did not stop from the time they got on a stage to the time they got off. Now comes the band that I waited the whole the whole beginning of the show to check out. Now, guys, um, if you haven't heard of the band Emure, that's E M M U R E, and I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but here from Buffalo, what do you want? Okay, these guys got a little mix of hate breed. Uh, thrown in with some rage against the machine. These guys are going to hit it hard and they're going to hit it fast and they're going to be out there and, and get on the wagon if you can. I don't normally pump up bro, you know, bands a whole lot, but I would say this band is definitely worth the pump up. Total Energy had everybody going. When they asked for people to jump, 2,000 people jumping. It was It was phenomenal. I say, in my eyes, 
second best performance of the night that wasn't the headliner. There we go. Second best performance of the night that was not a headliner. Okay. And seeing that Rockstar Mayhem was actually two-band headliner, you know, big band, three bands maybe. Yeah, we'll say three-band headliner. And that on the, or there's actually four bands on the main stage. Okay, so I'm a dumbass. Four bands as the headliner. Okay, but these guys, they deserve to be on the main stage in my eyes. They got the crowd going. They got it pumped up, and the crowd stayed pumped up. Uh, the next band was my boss's. I mean, she, she's been waiting for this for a long time. We got to see Children of Bottom. Now, if you don't know Children of Bottom, they're a band from Finland. They kick ass, majorly kick ass. The lead singer, it, it, they're their own sound. Um, the band In Flames, kind of very similar to them. But, they, like I said, they have their own sound. Uh, the lead singer, okay, I'm 5'11", this guy's got to be 5'2", you know, somewhere around there. He sounds like a 6'8 guy, I mean, seriously. And can the, the guitars are, sounded so good and everything like that. Even got their autographs. Look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. All of them got their autographs, that's right. So, very cool. Machine Head was next. They were the last band on the two outer stages. And, of course, they rocked, dude. They kept it going. They ended the, the, the evening on the two stages. And people were pumped up to go to the main stage. Uh, you, you all know Machine Head. And if you don't, give them a listen. You know, you metalheads that are younger or whatever... Give them a listen, man. They, they've been around a while. They're really hard. Kind of like a Metallica mix with Pantera. Um, minus the dime bag. Hey, rest in peace. Okay. And then we headed on to the, to, the, uh, to the main stage. Now we had good seats. Not too far away. You know, not too close. One near the pit or anything. So exhausted because of the heat. I was tired. Rockstar, you did a kick-ass job. By the way, your little tiny cans that you had at the Rockstar Mayhem Tour in New York and probably everywhere else, the sour one that was in the blue can, need bigger cans, and I will buy tons of it. Okay? Just a suggestion. Hopefully you're watching. Try it. Okay? And if not, um, you know, contact me through YouTube leave me a message, I'll give you my address, I'll just buy it from you straight out. Okay, sounds good? Alright, good. Main stage, Amon Amarth, or Amon Amarth, okay, they're a, um, well, they started out as a death metal band from Sweden, uh, named Scum, and then that didn't work out real well, and then they have their own, like, Viking metal sound to it. These guys, they look like Vikings. I mean, seriously, came their stage had a uh, the front end of a giant Viking boat with a breathing dragon, you know, smoke coming out of its face and stuff. Put on a great show, had a killer sound. Um, definitely going to look into them more because I, I really didn't know a lot about them, but I've heard of them and I've kind of like YouTubed them a little bit just to see what they were like. Definitely going to seriously consider buying some, you know, some of their music, checking it out. The next band, and I hate to do this, I but I, I'm keeping it real. I you know if I don't like yet, I'm gonna tell you. Mastodon. Now personally, love their music. Um, watching them on stage, I hated their stage presence. I just it it really. It really messed with my head because you know what? Here I've listened to their music for a while now, followed them, you know, on YouTube and everything like that. Got their got their music and stuff, and I could get I, I could listen to it even now. But watching them on stage was it was a travesty. That's the word, travesty. And 
here here is you know the, the these Vikings, they got everybody kind of pumped up, and we're coming off of, you know, Machine Head, and we're, you know, the train is rolling down the tracks, and here's a band that has it, has what it takes to sell, you know, albums and CDs and make, you know, really good music, and their stage presence sucks ass, and it just stops the train. Really, 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 to be continued. Um, you know, it, it, it was, it, it was hurtful, and I was not, not impressed, and there's probably people out there who disagree with everything I'm saying or whatever, well, you know, the, you're right to your opinion, I feel like voice in mine, so there you go. Um, on to Five Figure Death Punch, I know a lot of you guys either you really like Five Ringer or Death Punch or you hate Five Ringer Death Punch because of, because of Ivan Moody. I don't care what you say. These guys put on a killer show. Uh, they played all the good stuff. They even played a new song off their uh, off of one of their uh, new CDs that are coming out here shortly. They got two of them coming out. Uh, they did a salute to the troops thing kind of thing, you know, and that played bad company it, it, it was it put chills on you the way they did it i mean it was unlike anything i had heard they, they played it a completely different way and it just ivan sounded like he was he was really getting into it um the only letdown for me <coughs> excuse me is i didn't get to see them play the pride live it wasn't on the list and that's the one thing I didn't like about festivals, okay? Festivals, everything has to be timed just right. You, you're, you know, bands on for 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 25, 30 minutes, 30, and you get to the headliners who should have more time and don't. Um, but it was, it was a, they, their stage presence was awesome. Uh, I love seeing the brass knuckles up there and stuff like that, and, and it at that point, I was just so tired, and then they came on stage, and I got, you know, got like my fifth or sixth or seventh, maybe twelfth wind or something like that, and I was really good for that. Um, then, just total exhaustion came in, and I did not make make it to see the last band, uh, Rob Zombie. You know the man brings it. Okay, got to see him at the Connecticut Street Armory, Armory back in like 91, 92, somewhere around there here in Buffalo when he was when it was White Zombie. And I know the man can bring it. I now I I personally and Rob, I mean no disrespect, but your new music, I'm just not feeling it. Okay, I don't know what's going on. There's just that little something missing. But I know you brought it at, at, at Darien Lake. I've already talked to some people that stayed and, and, and whatnot. I got the lowdown, and, you know, you brought it. That's cool. But that's basically your uh, Rockstar Mayhem Tour, uh, Mikey's Thoughts Edition. Uh, I know there's a lot of you out there that probably think I'm a moron and I have no musical taste and I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But you know what? That's the nice thing about... Um, opinions they're like assholes we all have them so if I want yours I'll go take a dump anyways that's just me being Irish and and stubborn and stuff we'll just go ahead and go with that definitely looking forward to future stuff from a lot of these bands like I said feel free to check them out um, if you want to know the name of a band or anything like that you can rewind this video and you know get the information that you need but definitely you know it's if it's rolling into your town you know spend the money check it out it's definitely worth it and that's about what i've got to say in a nutshell guys um this is big mikey signing out peace